All right, we're working on a 2013 Subaru BRZ slash Toyota Scion FRS GT86, whatever the heck you want to call it. We're going to change the oil control valve. These have a tendency to go out on the early models, as well as the, uh, the internal part, uh, the actual cam gear, which has all the hydraulics to change the cam timing. Uh, those can get full of chunks of metal and there's a redesign and there's yeah but there's been a few revisions of this and we're going to install the updated version uh this is the this is the part numbers this is for the uh seal for the oil control valve and this is the part number for the latest revision uh 2015 2017 model so i'm going to show you how to replace this it's not that big of a deal disconnect this well of course take out the air box this one had an aftermarket air box disconnect the connector 10 millimeter Under here, rag, pry it out. Old one, that's the old one. It's an o ring and a plastic spacer. So this is the old part next to the new part. The old part has uh, two part numbers and the new part only has one. I'm not sure what these numbers mean. Uh, and this is the part that pushes on the oil control. This is basically the actuator, electronic actuator, and it pushes on this. Pushes on that guy to uh, let the oil out or change the cam timing. And there's the. That's how it looks like inside the car. I'm gonna go in, ahead and reinstall it. I'm gonna take the old o ring off and this plastic part, spacer. Put the plastic spacer in the new part, and oh boy, I didn't take this out yet. Put the new ring on here. So ready to install. Make sure it's clean, lubed up. It's not under any high pressure, so don't have to worry too much, but just don't tear it on install. Let's install these bolts. Now, if, if this doesn't fix your check engine light and it comes back, um, the first thing you want to check is to see, see this is zero weight 20, you want to make sure that you have the synthetic zero weight 20 and a, and a new oil filter. Uh, if you run thicker oil or the wrong weight, uh, it will affect the way the variable cam timing works. And you'll get a check engine light for that. And uh, if this doesn't fix it after you know you try the oil change and try this, then you're gonna have to pull the timing cover off. 
and you're gonna have to replace the, the sprocket that ha has all the uh, hydraulics inside. And that's kind of a, it's a big job, but it's still doable. There's a lot of room in here. But we're gonna give that a shot first. This is always a good idea, especially since these units are known to go bad, especially when there's, even, even the, especially the early versions. Uh, they've updated the electronics, made it more robust, and uh, it's a good, it's only about 70 to $100 to buy the new latest version. So, hope this helps you out.